All right, so today we're diving into the thrilling world of high limit slots. You know those games that make your heart skip a beat with every spin. And we're not just watching from the sidelines today, we're practically pulling up a chair right next to a seasoned player as they navigate the high stakes world of the Huff and More Puff Power 4 slot machine. That's right. We're taking a deep dive into a YouTube video from the Gadget Guru channel. And let me tell you, this is not your average slot machine. Not at all. This one's got this whole four screen setup. Four times the excitement, four times the potential wins, and of course, four times the anticipation. Okay, picture this. It's 10.45 a.m. at the Seminole Hard Rock Casino in Tampa, Florida. Not quite the typical Vegas scene, right? So what does that tell us about our players? That's a really interesting point. This unusual time slot could suggest a couple of things. Maybe these are seasoned gamblers who are so comfortable with the casino scene that it's like a casual hangout spot for them. Or maybe they prefer a lower profile, you know, avoiding those big crowds and distractions. Ooh, I like that. A little air of mystery. Our guru isn't alone in this high stakes adventure though. He's got his friend D with him, who we learn has been out of the picture for a bit. And right away, the guru warns us, I've seen a lot of people lose pretty quickly on this. Talk about setting the stakes high. Absolutely. It's like he's foreshadowing a dramatic plot twist, instantly grabbing your attention and making you wonder, will our players beat the odds or will they become just another cautionary tale? And don't forget, the Huffmore Puff game itself is no walk in the park. It's all about matching symbols across those four screens. And you know what they say? The more you match, the bigger the payout. And of course, you gotta have those tantalizing bonus rounds. Speaking of bonus rounds, did you notice how the energy in the video goes through the roof every time those red hat triggers pop up? Oh, absolutely. You can practically hear their hopes rising with each spin, especially when those red hats start lining up. Speaking of which, can we talk about the speed at which these guys are making decisions? Oh yeah. Hold or spin cash out or go for another round. It's like watching a high speed auction. You've hit on something really crucial about high stakes slots. The super fast decision making. It's high pressure, every second counts, and it demands a deep understanding of how the game works. It's like they have it on secret language too, throwing around <laughs> terms like respins, mansions, and executive piggies. Right. Respins are basically like free spins that you get after certain combinations, giving players another shot at winning without putting down more money. Think of them as a bonus consolation prize. Now, when they mention mansions, they're probably referring to a high value symbol in the game. And those executive piggies, what are those all about? Those are interesting. I'm guessing they're part of the bonus rounds, maybe with different levels of piggies, you know, signifying different bonus tiers. And from the sounds of it, those executive piggies are the ones you want on your side. They even joke about fractional school piggies who don't have jobs. Right? It's funny, but it also shows how into the game they are, creating their own little world with its own lingo and inside jokes. You're right, it highlights that social aspect of gambling that often gets overlooked. Yeah. It's not always just about the money, it's about the shared experience, the camaraderie, the jokes that come up between players. It just adds another layer of fun to the whole thing. And boy, do they seem to be having a good time, especially when D is called a good luck charm after a string of wins. You can practically feel the good vibes through the screen. That social dynamic can be incredibly powerful, especially in such a high pressure environment like a casino. It's like having a teammate, someone to share the ups and downs with. And speaking of ups, get ready for a wild ride because these guys are about to hit an incredible winning streak. Remember those four screens I mentioned? Yeah. Well, hold on to your hats because they managed to trigger a bonus on all four at the same time. Wow. It's amazing to see. The coin shower erupting from the machine, the celebratory high fives, even the need for a hand pay because they won so much the machine couldn't hander it. It's pure sensory overload. A hand pay. That means the winnings are so big they need a casino attendant to come and pay them out, right? That's right. It's like the VIP treatment of slot machine wins. Wow. I don't know about you, but seeing that kind of excitement makes me wonder, does witnessing how these games work, the strategies, the near misses, make you more or less likely to try your luck? It's a really interesting question. I mean, understanding the mechanics even a little bit might make some people feel more in control, more likely to give it a shot themselves. But then again, it could also have the opposite effect. Seeing behind the curtain might make the risks feel more real, the house edge more apparent, you know. It's like that saying, ignorance is bliss. Sometimes, knowing too much can take away from the thrill of the unknown. What do you think? It probably depends on the person. 
Some people love the knowledge and strategy, while others would rather just ride the wave of chance and see where it takes them. Either way, there's no denying how captivating those spinning reels can be, and that chance, however slim, to beat the odds and walk away a winner. But we're not done yet. We've got more to uncover, including a sneaky little strategy these players call backup spins. But we'll save that for after this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But remember, $20, so divide that by four. Each one is equivalent to a $5 per spin mm -hmm. bet. 10 cent denomination, minis at 100, minors at 500, major 1100, grand at 12,000. Okay. Come on, hot spots. That was so cool getting two to start with, wasn't it? I love seeing all four screens. Boy. He's really huffing and puffing. He's going. He's going to take a, a deep blowout. breath. <laughs> okay, we're $285, so we are ahead, but we knew that. Now, here's Come the big on. one. Let's get some coins with some big numbers on it. We have, we have a coin. A mini, a, a mini. mini. Okay. 75, 75, 125. Yay, we All have right. a coin shower. Yay. Now, I got to tell you what, I've watched a lot of people play this online. This is my first time and our first time playing it. This is one of the best plays that I think I've seen on here. Oh my gosh. And look, and we avoided that pesky hand play too. Yes. Oh my God, that was so exciting. You know, you'd think winning a jackpot like that would be enough to satisfy anyone, but these guys have got another trick up their sleeve. Backup spins. Right. Just when you think the excitement is over, they pull you right back in. So what are backup spins exactly, and do they actually work? Okay, so imagine this. You've just had this massive win, but instead of cashing out, you set aside some of those winnings for one last hurrah. Okay. That's basically the backup spins strategy in a nutshell. It's like giving yourself another shot at glory while still protecting some of your winning. It's like having your cake and eating it too. Yeah. So did these backup spins pay off for our gamblers? Well, they didn't hit that same jackpot again, but they did get a pretty decent win. It shows that sometimes taking a calculated risk can pay off. It just goes to show you, even with a plan, there's always that element of unpredictability when it comes to slots. Exactly. You can analyze all you want, but luck still plays a big role. It's a balance between strategy and chance. Speaking of chance, one thing that really struck me while watching was how these guys handle those constant ups and downs. One minute they're celebrating a huge win, and the next they're figuring out why a bonus round didn't go their way. Okay. You'd never know they were playing with so much money. That's what separates the pros, right? Mm -hmm. They understand that variance is part of the game. It's a roller coaster, highs and lows, but it's how you ride those that matters. It takes some serious composure to detach from those immediate wins and losses, okay. especially when hundreds of dollars are spinning by. Yeah. It makes you wonder what's going through their heads in those moments. Well, for some, it's the thrill, the adrenaline of taking that risk. For others, it's about testing their skills, trying to outsmart the machine, and let's not forget the entertainment factor. Absolutely. Throughout the video, they're laughing, telling stories, genuinely enjoying themselves. It's like a guy's night out, but with much higher stakes. Exactly. It reminds us that gambling, especially with friends, can be a social thing. It's not always about the money. It's the shared experience, the jokes. It all adds to the fun. They even joke about needing to catch up with each other because those bonus rounds are happening so fast. It's like the outside world disappears and they're in this high energy bubble. It's like its own little world, right? A total escape from the everyday where the rules are different, the stakes are higher, and that chance of hitting it big is always just around the corner. It's definitely alluring, but it's a good reminder that it's not all fun and games. The video does hint at the potential downsides. At one point, D mentions feeling worn out and his heart racing. Right, a good point. Even in a glamorous setting like that, the pressure can get to you. It's like any high stakes activity. It takes focus, stamina, and managing your emotions. And even though we don't see any huge losses in this video, the guru's earlier comment about people losing quickly on this machine kind of sticks with you. It does, doesn't it? Like a warning. It reminds us that luck can change in an instant. No matter how much strategy or experience you have, there's always a risk. Which brings us back to that big question from the video. Mm. Does understanding how slot machines work make you more or less likely to play? That is the question, isn't it? Have we made it seem more appealing? Or by pulling back the curtain, have we made you more cautious? I'm curious, how about you? After this deep dive, 
What are your thoughts? It's it's like we got a peek behind the curtain of a magic show, you know. Do those flashing lights and sounds have that same pull when you know it's all algorithms and probabilities? It really makes you think. Some people might find that knowing more actually makes it more interesting. Others might feel like some of the mystery is gone. Right. Replaced with a less exciting perspective. Either way, I think we can all agree this deep dive gave us a really interesting look into a world we don't always get to see. One that's got a lot of misconceptions about it. Definitely. We went into the psychology of why gambling is so fascinating, the draw of those high stakes games and that line between luck and strategy. We even decoded the lingo, those respins, mansions, and executive piggies. And we saw firsthand the highs and the potential downsides of chasing those big wins. Oh, absolutely. We can't forget that reminder that even with all the excitement, responsible gaming is key. Knowing your limits, managing what you expect, and knowing when to walk away, win or lose. Couldn't agree more. So as we step away from our virtual slot machine, we're left with one last question. What did this deep dive into high limit slots show you? Did it make you want to try it out <laughs> or maybe stick to watching from afar? Let us know what you think. And remember, knowledge is power, even when it comes to chance. <laughs>